one of the, the emotions that always comes up, which I always dread, which I, but I've learnt to recognise that it's only a passing stage, is that of anger. I get angry at the painting, and um, I hate, I hate that stage. But you have to, well, myself, I have to go through that anger stage. And I've, it's took me years to learn that the anger stage is actually part of the positive process. I find it hard to accept that there should be a, a difference between an amateur painter and a professional painter. I don't like the two differences. I know what it means. A professional painter is one who makes money from their work. But someone who paints but doesn't make money from their work is still a professional in regards to their they are painting with a professional attitude. And that's what it's about. It's, it's not about your status in money terms. It's about attitude. Have you got the attitude of a professional? Or do you just see it as a bit of fun? Well, I don't see it as a bit of fun. It's very serious to me. I have fun. And that's when I socialise. <laughs> Not too bad, it's coming on. I've got basic areas down. I know where it's going in my mind. I can't explain it, but I know where it's going to go. And uh, though it looks very rough, every painting looks rough. The, the goat, you know, it's, it's a journey, you know, to coin a probably overused phrase, but it is a journey. And uh, <clears throat> along that way, you'll discover new things as well, not just about aspects of the painting you thought, well, oh, I didn't think about doing it that way. And I'll question anyone who says it, professional or amateur, to say that they never stop learning. I think I put that wrong, basically, <laughs> every person, at whatever stage of their career, will always learn. And it's the accidents that happen that is when you predominantly learn the most, I believe. Need to lay some more white down because it's getting too samey. You'll notice that there's uh, other areas of blue now. And that's because I realise one area of blue is too dominant. It's like a sun. If you've got one, then it remains a singular point of focus. Add a few more areas elements of the same colour or shapes elsewhere on the canvas and that one element becomes subtracted by the ones you've added so it becomes a group and then because I've added three more areas of blue that one area of blue has been subtracted and become a group and it's more diluted the more areas of blue I add the more diluted that what was the central focus becomes. So it's like sums. If you want to dilute an area of colour or form so it doesn't stand out, I add other areas of the same colours and then it, it blends more in.
I'm now laying down the bluey greens, as I said, with the surround the blue. What greens I use at this stage, I don't know. It's about trying lights, different uh, light, dark, uh, less bluey, more bluey. Trying different greens around to see which ones make it all in balance. As I say, this area will be lighter greens, so they will actually fade into the, these areas and end up with dark green grounds. Outside, I could even put a bit of dark green now. It doesn't matter. At this stage, it's, we're roughing out, so I could put pink spots anywhere. It doesn't matter, I know it's not going to exist later on. Though this painting fits in with the criteria of Wonderland. The actual painting processes are not dissimilar to those I use with the virus ones. It's all about shapes and colour. But as I said, it's an experiment, but I'm actually enjoying it. Build up the areas of greeny blue. This will probably be uh, to the view at the boring stage. I need to lay down some of the bold greens now so I know how much these bluey greens are going to recede. Starts to look like bubbles. <laughs> oh dear. But then, as I said, a painting, abstract in terms, represents different things to different people. to need to lay down some bold greens now. And that way you'll see that this area will, will recede. Ouch. So it's about laying down some bold greens now. This green's too earthy in respect that it has brown in it. I don't like earthy greens. If I mind. <laughs> 